Sheriff's deputies are investigating after a Wabash Valley historic landmark is damaged by vandals who stole a large Christmas wreath. News 10's Dan Klein reports the Bridgeton covered bridge, once destroyed by arson, is now the victim of another crime. Dan? Mark, the century-old Bridgeton covered bridge was destroyed by arson in 2005. After the community rebuilt it a year later, it has now been targeted by vandals again. If a picture is worth a thousand words, this pretty picture is worth a lot more. But on the other side, a different picture. Loose boards are visible, but what you don't see? An eight-foot-tall Christmas wreath that thieves stole sometime late Monday night. How low can you stoop? Uh, tear up a covered bridge so you can steal a Christmas ornament. It's just, it's just unbelievable. The thieves somehow knocked out these boards. Then they were able to make it onto the foundation. They then could slice through these wires and somehow fit an eight-foot wreath through this hole. Had a nice bow on the top. It was beautiful on the side of the bridge. A picture of far worse damage in April of 2005 when an arsonist burned the historic bridge to the ground. Rose says the latest act of violence seems random and he's hopeful the vandalism does not escalate into more. But he says he will be installing security cameras on his mill to start taking continuous pictures and discourage future criminal behavior. Meanness, just plain meanness. I can't, I can't imagine why someone would do something like this. The Park County Sheriff's Office is investigating. Mike Rose says, fortunately, the boards do not appear to be damaged, and he's going to work with the county and the Bridge Association to make repairs. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Dan. Uh, the next two weekends are big Christmas weekends in Bridgeton, so Roe hopes the wreath can be discovered and returned to its spot on the bridge soon.